Alexa, who is Sushi John? Here's something I found on the web. According to foodbeast.com, we chatted with Sushi Chef John. Oh! Alright, what did that bitch say? He agreed to school us on proper sushi etiquette. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Chop the hands with a fucking robot any day. <laughs> Alexa, do you know Sushi John's home? I found a Sushi King. It is 1,024.6 miles away on Racetrack Road in St. John's. It is currently she knows where you live, bro. That's good. I wouldn't doubt it. She says that you're a uh, chef. Sushi John chef. That's what she called you, dude. That's about right. It's about damn time that we come out with another podcast. It is 11.52 p.m. October 5th on a Monday. Including me, I am pretty tired. But Sushi John is always awake. Right, Sushi? Always awake, man. No rest for the wicked. <laughs> I'm drinking some green tea here. It's pretty pretty good here. And Sushi was drinking, what was it? A Modelo? Did I say that right? A nice can of Modeller. Love this drink, man. Modelo's amazing. I'm drinking the Kid for Kid, the Yoohoo chocolate drink for kids. It's really great. It helps me keep energized and everything. But, uh oh. Uh oh. Um, that, ladies and gentlemen, we might have. Uh oh. We might have another guest joining us on our podcast. Just give us a moment here. Wait a Live minute. Live and in person. Live and in person. We're about to find out right now. Uh, I cannot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He might be banned. <laughs> he, just, he just sent me a message right now. <laughs> wait. Is Buddy banned? <laughs> I'll bring you guys up to the story here in a bit. But my friend, we had another guest join. Two guests, actually. We had my friend Gabriel. He was going to join us as well. And my friend Tony. Um, okay, so he's still banned. Um uh, yeah, he just showing me that he still got banned and can be in the party chat. Okay, so we'll see. We're going to continue on the podcast, you know, keep you guys up to date on what we've been up to, why haven't we done a podcast, uh, how the channel's been doing, how our year has been doing, John. 2020 has been a bitch, has it? <laughs> Dude, you have no idea. 2020 is ridiculous. <laughs> Makes me want to go back to 2019, right? Immediately. Immediately. Take me back to 2017. The Eagles were good. We had our shit together. Take me back. <laughs> That's right. The Eagles. T- okay, let me ask you this. How how are the Eagles doing? I had to know, to be fair. Oh, man. They are doing terrible. I Honestly, if I could take a shot for each player who gets hurt a game, I honestly would probably be dead. <laughs> oh, God. How, okay, how, okay. If you put them against the Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys, how would you fare? With them right now, I think the Cowboys should be able to put up a you know they should have no issue with us. But I have seen the Cowboys are losing to the Browns. You don't lose to the Browns, and uh, their defense is no bueno. Our defense isn't any good either. But <laughs> I mean, shots here. 48, 49 points to the Browns. Damn. Oh God, you're a huge fan of the Cowboys, right? No, sir. I hate the Cowboys. I hate them. <laughs> what was it he told me, bro? Remember when you told me you were like, I'm trying to remember. You said, oh, if, uh, what was it? You're going to move out of this house. I think he said that, right? I want to move out of my house because they started playing the game, the Cowboy game in your own in your own home. Or what That's was right. it? That's right. I had to, <laughs> growing up with a family full of damn Cowboys fans had to get out of that scene. Mm-hmm. It's not healthy. Jesus. Uh, but you know what? Hey, you know, I'm a fan. To be fair, I am a fan of the, the Eagles myself. But I, I give myself shame because I do not see the game the game as much. God damn it, Gabriel. Gabriel keeps throwing in these invites like it's, it's freaking candy right now. 
Hold on, let me shut that off. We're going to be hearing it, dude, nonstop. All right, and just, <laughs> he's throwing these. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we are recording. I'm recording off the PS4. We could do it off by Discord, but we're just, you know, we're late, a little bit lazy. I'm lazy on my end. You know, I just want to get whatever I can just to, you know, pop up a podcast and whatnot. But, okay, there we go. All right. So, guys, just to keep you up to speed here real quick, uh, we're still doing our podcast for about an hour. We're trying to hit that um, from our last po- our last podcast was about an hour as well. And about an hour. How long ago was it, dude, that we did a <laughs> podcast? I'd I- say it's safe about almost a year, year, if not over a year, easily we, close to one. We gave him so many. We you know we did say that we were like, oh, we're all about podcasts and whatnot. And something happened, and I'm going to say, I'm going to blame it. I'm going to throw the excuse that every type of company uses is uh, the COVID, you know. <laughs> COVID happened. Oh, well. Sorry. Can't do the podcast. I'm just kidding. That's that's OBS. That's not true. I'm just <laughs> – that is not what happened. I just got, you know, other things. Look at this right here. A year ago. This was recorded a year ago, which was on – Let's see. I want to know how long ago our podcast was. Easy. Uh, the Eagles were good. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> August 29 of 2019 was our last our last podcast. But we're going to try to change that. We are moving forward, bringing out more content. We want to keep doing some more podcasts for you guys and see, keep you up in the world. So let's just, uh, again, we are free balling it here. We, our last podcast, we were kind of more organized. We had our, you know, topics and everything. I said, this one, let's just experiment on how we could go free balling it here. So, dude, I got to ask. Um. Uh, how is what game have you been jamming out right now, or so far have you been jamming to a lot? So far, we've been smacking Among Us. Um, oh God! Off, off stream and off the record, of course. I, I I keep it straight with those uh the Madden games, those sports games. You still the Madden twenty twenty, right? That's the one you're still playing, right? Madden twenty. <laughs> I haven't gotten the uh, Madden twenty one because it's the same. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So, okay, there is a twenty-one Madden. I thought it was twenty twenty. Yeah, that, there's that. a twenty-one Madden, but it's it's, it's the it's same okay. thing. The only difference is you get the rookies that they drafted. I mean, the gameplay is the same. The everything is the same. <laughs> they don't really do any work. EA Sports doesn't do any work into uh, fixing up their games. Really, so it's kind of hard to go ahead and buy the new copy for sixty, seventy bucks when it's the same thing, just a different roster. I can't believe they're making like eight, like was it? I believe I'm not mistaken. It's like four billion. They're making money. They are making money with the same crap. People are still buying it. I, we can't do nothing about it, dude. I know you. I, I, maybe I'm not a sports guy. That's probably why I'm not. I'm hitting on it pretty hard. But it's just insane to me how they're playing it still. It's like the same damn game, dude. Come on now. What games have you been playing? Well, as you said, we've been playing Among Us. We've been hitting uh, Modern Warfare. That. Oh. Nasty of a beast game is just eating my PS4 from the inside. At around, what is it? It's at 205 gigs right now, dude. Uh, dude. Last one killed me with that 90 something gig. That, that one hurt. It, it hurts. I mean, I don't, I don't have, you know, I, I don't play games that often, but. Uh, oh, man. Dude. Definitely hurts to give up that many gigs on one game. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's it. Technically, I think what that would probably be our only big multiplayer online game that we have right now. Let's we don't see have that one. Uh, and no, that that's about it. I'm I'm starting to hit the forest again with my. Uh, oh, the forest again yeah, that we hit brother, one time, I think. <laughs> yeah, I tell my brother, he's like, "What games? What's a good game?" And I showed him the forest, like when we first downloaded it, and now he's he's trying to play it. So we've been messing around like three in the morning playing it. <laughs> Oh, he's having a blast with it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty fun, man. You know, it's it's all good. Uh, it just I hate it how they just go ahead and you can I, have the nicest build, and the, all these mutants and and these walking creatures just go ahead and destroy your stuff in a matter of seconds. Jesus, pretty terrible. frustrating. I need to get. We need to get back into that game. I think we did one one video. I don't know if I uploaded it or not, but I know we recorded some video, and I. I do not think I uh, I updated it, uh, uploaded it to YouTube, but I do have to say, like, ladies and gentlemen, just throwing this out here, me and Sushi got a freaking 
dub in Modern Warfare yesterday. And it was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. <laughs> I have the re- I have the video sick. here. I will show you guys how it went down. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll play it right now for you. And I'll play it right here and see what you guys think. There's fighting going on in there. Ah, oh, shit. Damn, this is cool. I've never been up here. It's nice, right, dude? Oh, we got a copter. What is that? Is that computerized or is that somebody actually the fucking playing? The, go the gold ones are, are fake. <laughs> Look at him dancing around his rookie. Fucking bitch, come on. Fucking bitch! Hey, he's gonna run for it, he's gonna run for it, let's get him. <laughs> Kick his ass! <laughs> Fucking dancing, <laughs> fucking dancing boost! You see her? Where is it? I haven't seen him yet. I think she's in that building still. <laughs> You jumped? No, no, I didn't jump. I didn't jump. I'm. Here we go. I'm gonna get. Oh, there he is. We're inside the zone. Get ready. Bitch. Where's he at? Probably crawling through the red bricks right here. Crawling through the red bricks. There he is, I see him, I see him. He's right on the edge of the little fucking... Oh yeah, I bet. He's by the, He's over here by the crates, flirting with the crates. I see him, I see him. Oh shit! What, what's up, what's up, what's up? He's hit, he's, he's firing back. Gas is moving in! New safe zone located! Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! You got him? Yeah. He's watching my fucking shit right now. Here you go. Okay, they're down here somewhere. I got movement. Oh, here they are, here they are. I got movement. Who is that? How many of them? Far away? Uh, there's one right here. He's fucked. That's a kill. Let's go, dude. Gas They're right under us. They're right down here. Some guys. <laughs> this isn't gonna bite us in the ass being up here. Nah. Then they come up to us. I'm I'm looking for a. Oh, right, over here, over here. Okay, I'll keep an eye on this right here. That's the only little way. like uh, thing they could grapple up to. But it's behind the gas. Never mind. Fuck that. It's behind the gas. Never mind. Here they come. Here they come. Should we go already? Nah, they're gonna be coming out. They're gonna be coming out, and when they do, we fucking just fired on them. Look at that shit. Up. Only four enemies remain. You know what to do. Ready, dude? Ready to jump? We jumping? Yeah, no, but do it. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, shit. Right behind here. Right behind here. Perfect. Right, here we go, here they go, they should be coming up to us. Move on. We got a long way to run. Fuck, we gotta go after them. Keep an eye out. Just us and them, just us and them. Whoa. Let's fucking go, dude! Let's Whoa. fucking go! Woo! <laughs> I can't hear you dude, I can't hear your excitement right now. Let's get the fuck out of here.
me ask you, did, did you ever, I don't know, dude, it, we, we played on the stadium. I think we played it pretty smart, right? Or you think? Stadi- yeah, that one, we got lucky that the, the circle happened to be on the top of the damn stadium. That was a big help. And then having a, to just parachute down to like the little streets and, and curb and being able to, to uh, use that as our leverage to pull the game off. It was perfect timing, perfect <laughs> spotting too. Couldn't have asked for a better placement. Would that be – how many wins have you gotten in Modern Warfare? That's like only many? one, my good sir. That was your first I've win? Yeah, my first win yesterday. Oh, shit. <laughs> I yeah. didn't know this. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, that was my first one. Never. <laughs> you went out badass too. We went out on a stadium too. It was like meant to be. That was, that was the first. I forgot what happened that day. I think you said that day was also uh, a really good day for you, right? Because you said you got the dub, and then you're the Eagles won, right? And the Eagles won. And I can never, I can never have my multiple teams like, like, love the Texas Longhorns, and uh, they lost this Saturday. Eagles come in and they win. If I have the Longhorns win, that's a guaranteed loss for the Eagles. It's just weird. My teams never win on the same weekend, Uh-oh. and they never lose on the same weekend either. Oh, great. This is oh, – I mean, oh, did you hear on – since we're talking about sports, is that – the what was it? The Texans uh, coach got fired? Yeah, it's long overdue. This guy was giving away top players for nothing. And, uh, yeah, no, he, he definitely needed to go. He gave uh, – he was giving up top players, you said? Like he was just – He'd have a number one – well, not a number one, but he's a top five easily, top – three or four ranked wide receiver in the league and they gave him away for basically nothing team's oh, got to be upset fan base has to be upset that was a bonehead move let me ask you this on well there's a lot of things coming up for like sports coming up like this october dude is ufc with uh Khabib versus justin i'm pronouncing his name wrong here gihi gaichi gaichi <laughs> <laughs> I'm so say wrong, dude. I Ju- Justin. What was it again? Let's see. Justin. Justin Gaethje. 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 Gaethje's. Justin Gaethje. Okay. Gaethje. That guy, dude. I'm pretty excited for that. I think Khabib versus Justin Gaethje is gonna be uh, a pretty good fight. I think. Um, I don't know, man. I think Khabib has this fight. I think he's going to... Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Okay, let me ask you. Like Justin Gaethje is very... I guess he's a well-rounded fighter. And I think he has a higher chance than... Uh, was, it, was it Dustin Poirier that he fought? Khabib uh, last time? He, the last one that he fought? Yeah, was it was it Dustin? No, he had... He, he, uh, he beat... Uh, Tony Ferguson... Tony Ferguson. His last fight. His last fight. He kept putting the pounding on Tony Ferguson. You got to remember what? Ferguson had – he cut weight like bad those two weeks. And uh, he was definitely moving a little slow. But, I mean, he was Wait. eating those shots like crazy. Where was I? Where was I? And I want to say it was because of a doctor's uh... – Tony versus Khabib, dude? I thought it didn't – Oh no! It, it was a uh, Tony Ferguson and Justin Gaethje. Oh, rewind Khabib that. My bad. Uh, I thought he said like, I thought he said Khabib versus uh, Tony Ferguson. I was no, like, Khabib that's had my dream beat, match. Uh, Dustin Poirier. Yep, September seventh, my birthday. <laughs> hey, now we all know. Get sushi some hundred hundred sushi for his birthday. <laughs> but yeah, so he yeah, yeah I don't even remember right. Justin did beat him. Now he's fighting against Khabib for the title. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, I think, I think again, I think Gapib is, is going to just take him down and just, just, just wreck, dude. Just wreck him. Just wreck manhandle him. him. Manhandle him. You know, drag him like a doll around. Throw him around. I think Khabib got this fight. So I'm saying it here right now. My money is going to be on Khabib. I think he's going to take the fight here. What about you? Who do you think is going to. I think as long as Khabib can uh, dodge those, those right hands and. And uh, not eat too many of those hooks. He has a good chance. He'd be good. But I, uh, I mean, 
I'm pretty sure he looked like he got rocked against McGregor in what the beginning of round three when he went to go for like the flying knee after he he hit him a few oh, times. Oh yeah, he did. It looked he he did look like he was nervous there when Connor got back so, up. I got yeah. nervous. <laughs> Who were you going for that fight? Was it Connor or Khabib? Oh, or like, I were don't you going? know that one. I put money on, on Khabib. I'm like, dude, <laughs> Connor's been out of the game too long. Oh, come on, dude. I'm just saying. He's been out of the game too long. <laughs> he was out for, like, what, two years, and it showed. <laughs> I, well, you know what? I heard another thing was that Connor versus uh, Manny Pacquiao. I heard that's going to be happening uh, next year. Now, and you think that's too crazy? You think that's a little oh, – that's too much? I mean, that's a money fight for sure, right? That's for sure a money fight. But, I mean – who, would, who wouldn't want to dance? Like, Connor's smart, right? Do you think he'd just dance around the ring and get, like, millions of dollars for I it? think he would have an honestly good chance against Manny Pacquiao. If you're throwing an age in the mix, he has a pretty good chance. <laughs> I mean, he – I mean, with Mayweather, that was – would you say that was just – no, that was too much? Or no, you thought Mayweather he was – just Mayweather was just – too much for him, especially for his first professional, or they want to say his first professional boxing match. Too Have much. you heard about that? That that uh, that YouTube star, um, Logan Paul, is going to be fighting Floyd Mayweather. Wait, is that again? Oh wait, wait. Oh, you know what? I saw that around. I saw that on my Facebook post. I thought. Um... I thought it was fake. Is that something he's worth? You know, I won't be surprised if Mayweather does it with uh, fights a little match with Logan Paul. I no, think that's that's. I think they. Ble- I think they had it signed already. I, I think I. I saw. Uh, Logan Paul and Mayweather. That's that's ridiculous, man. Like, come on, it's not. It's just for money, clearly. Yeah, that's completely just, for money, dude. What are you doing, man? Like, come on, no one's gonna want to watch that. I. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, I, again, I'd rather see the – if that's the case, I'd rather see Conor and Pacquiao. I know Matt Conor and Pacquiao is going to be a money fight, but I prefer that than the Mayweather and Logan Paul because I think for sure the Logan Paul thing, dude, it's going to be fixed to hell. I think Yeah. Be- <laughs> if he survives two rounds, it's fixed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <for laughs> Honestly, <sure. laughs> the first round, Mayweather isn't doing anything. Oh, no, dude. Not at all. It's, it's over. But – Hopefully, like I said, we will we'll watch the UFC of Khabib versus Justin Gaethje, and we will give you guys an update on that. But like I said here, I'm going Khabib. Sushi, who are you going for? That one, Khabib. That's my that's my dog. Khabib is going for it. All right, yeah, that's my I dog. agree. I think Khabib got that under the bag. What do you but, think about a uh, uh, Conor McGregor? Inviting or challenging, inviting, challenging, inviting Dustin Poirier to that charity fight. No UFC, no weight class. Oh, yeah, no weight just... class. Just going all in. I, I like that. I'm pretty – That's it is pretty cool. Uh, so the, the, for those that are, you know, figuring out what's going – like who's, you know, Connor and Dustin, you know, those UFC fans here will understand what's going on. But for those that don't – so Connor McGregor is obviously with the um, – I don't – well, he retired, I believe, right? He – Retired. He retired, but he's looking in, trying to trying to sneak his way back in any way he can. <laughs> and I think D- Dustin is still UFC, right? Uh, honestly, that's that's what confuses me because if he was to do a charity fight outside of the UFC, that's like that's a breach of his contract. I would think so too, but it sounds like it's not because. Let me, oh, dude, let me let me tell you this. So I Dana White was tweeting that they were gonna do a Connor. Because like, this is connection with the charity thing, they were gonna do a Connor and Khabib, you know, that coaching season, uh, UFC. Mm-hmm. What's it called? The uh, Ultimate Fighter. Ultimate Fighter with Connor and Khabib, dude. How sick is that? A Connor and Khabib as their coaches. You know, if you guys want to go look at, it, go look up, go check out some on YouTube. Just look up, you know, UFC Ultimate Fighter, and you'll see what you know. They get these two Those guys. The oh hell yeah, it is. They get these two guys. And, you know, they're going to be fighting at a pay-per-view, but they're going to be coaching all these, you know, you know, beginners. And, like, you know, there's all this freaking crazy drama and whatnot. But Khabib and Connor, we all know the insane drama that happened between them, dude. You know? 
I, I would have really loved to see that. But this is what Dana White said. He's like, oh, well, I had all these plans. You know, I had all these plans that, you know, I was going to do Conor McGregor and Khabib as coaches. And they were going to be running the next Ultimate Fighter show. And then it's like, and then he's like, that he was going to do that. But just because his charity thing happened, he dropped it. Which it's like, bro, wait a minute. But Connor's not even contract with you. So what you're saying is you were going to like, you know, I don't know. You are There's working too many, with him, you know? Yeah, that's a, that's a lie in Dana's. Like, I mean, even like these, uh, these stars are starting to screenshot their, uh, their messages with Dana and the UFC and they're trying to show, Hey, it's them, you know, we, we we want to fight, but we can reach an agreement. And that's, that's on the fighters, honestly, like they're getting paid hundreds of thousands to fight once in like sometimes millions too. A right? year. Yeah. Sometimes a million, depending on how much pay-per-view buys you get. I do understand COVID is out there messing with everybody. Oh, you know, not everybody's going to afford to buy a pay-per-view. You know, you got people illegally streaming it, um, you can't really make any money at the venues because it's at a empty arena. I understand you're not able to pay what you would like to play, oh, what you'd like to pay your fighters, but I mean, they gotta understand it's a tough time. Oh yeah. You know, right now, right now is not the best time to ask your employer for a raise. You need the money. You know what I mean. <laughs> you take what you can get. <laughs> you can't ask. And, and no, no jabs at Dustin Poirier, but he wants championship money, and he's not a championship. He's not a champion right now, you know? He's not championship he's, he's, material or pay-per-view material. He's not a championship fighter. Damn. <laughs> that's oh, just the way yeah. I see it. Like, damn, man. If I was getting paid $1,000 to fight so-and-so, I was like, dude, sign me up. <laughs> sign me up. Sign me up. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. You know, right? Even if you lose, you're going to walk with more than a grand. Dude. You're going to walk with like 10 grand maybe, 10, 12 grand, you know? I think, and if you get that bonus, like they already got the fight of the night, knockout of the night, or whatever. Yeah, that's like grand. 50 G's. Exactly. That's enough to pay like, off my car already, on, dude. Come on, man. Like, <laughs> shit. I'll take that right now. 50 G's, and I'll fight every month. <laughs> you know, we're... Not just twice a year. We've we've uh, talked about... I believe we talk, might have talked about this in our last podcast, but since we're talking about UFC, too, you know, it's... Uh, I think it's time to tell these guys that we tested out... <laughs> we could consider ourselves... <laughs> Brazilian jiu-jitsu experts <laughs> for that one day of class, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, we know what we're talking about. We've been through hell and back. That's right. We went. We saw everything. Went through hell. Uh, we trained and here in good old SA, San Antonio. And let me ask you, John, how was your first day? Let's bring it back. Let's Honestly, go back memory I, lane a little bit. Okay, throwing it back. It was fun. Not going to lie. You can learn a lot. I learned a lot that one day. My back. Sucks. I would love to go. The only the only issue was it was too far. You know that's true. It was outside. It's in North San Antonio. It's even outside of four ten. It's, it's out there. Way, if if you're in the San Antonio area, it's past Stone Oak. <laughs> Which was now a- now they are opening a plan like a few more locations all around town but at the moment that was our best option and that was pretty far it for both of us far. considering i lived in the south side near poteet <laughs> oh god I'm, I'm still here in the fucking south i'm still here and you know it was to give you guys a name you guys want to look it up ohana ohana academy i know that's where we trained it was like a test run and <laughs> i just remember you dude when we did that uh so you know you go in there and immediately they gave us these, uh, what was it, the little, the the white, well, I think they gave us white belts, right? Or they gave you a black belt? I don't know. They gave you a little shitty white belt, says <laughs> you're, you're a rookie. <laughs> People, you were rocking, were you rocking what? I think I was rocking a white, uh, was it, what do you call it? Uh, is it a gi? No, no, no. I'm, now I'm getting stuck. Oh, yeah, it's white gi, right? Did I say that right? I went full white gi with the white belt. I looked like a scrub. <laughs> So I. I think so too. <laughs> I mean, well, they, they knew they knew we were uh, open. They were it was open season on both of us when we went in there. Um, did you notice that we didn't even? Well, did we? We didn't even bow, right? Because I think we were so confused on like how to start everything. Because everyone, when we stepped on the mat, we just stepped on the mat. We were like, we walked on that mat like we owned it already, you know. And that's right. <laughs> And then when we were standing on there, we looked at the side and we just see everybody entering the thing and they all bowed to it before they stepped on it. 
<laughs> uh, my mind was like, do that. <laughs> I was like, dude, I think we just disrespected the whole fucking academy. We didn't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't bow. We just stepped right on there. Like this is our place, you know. That's what happened. <laughs> I felt oh, like shit. I felt nervous when I when I saw that. I was already like, they're not gonna take it easy on us. I think it's open season. It's over for us. But <laughs> <laughs> not wrong there. <laughs> just to give you guys oh, a little God. insight of that day, uh, we did some training. We did some. Um, I guess what well, we did some basic workouts and then we practiced on we, we worked with we trained with this one guy right separately in a corner like they, they like they're like okay you noobs go over there that the team <laughs> elite we're, <laughs> we're gonna have fun and play over here <laughs> you play that oh it's a touch butt so we were playing in the park in the, in the park that's what we were doing damn dude um <sighs> We did that. We do we train. Me and you, we trained. We we did some grappling. Some basic grappling is what we worked on. We got double leg takedowns, I think. Um, yeah, I some, so many guillotines, different arm bars, different takedown uh, techniques. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was, it was very. Um, it was fun. It was yes, it was very informational for one day. I would I would love to see what they can offer for a full, you know, month. But for that one day, man. I'm, I'm ready, ready to fight it. Rocky and Mr. T and all them. <laughs> You're ready to go. And there's a, there's this one legendary guy. Uh, we call him with Bruins. That guy, he was just going elite on everybody. And he had us all sit around, right? And he did the whole. He chose. I think like you were, we were talking about. He could have chose anybody. He could have chose me. I mean, I'm a big chubby guy. He could have chose me to practice his elite submission on it. But who does he choose, Sushi? Out he chooses everybody? one of the smallest females in the whole class. <laughs> one of the smallest. He could have chose me. Yeah, I'm 5'11". I'm small. He could have chose anybody. There's plenty of other guys there. About a total of 25, maybe. And he chooses the smallest female to use her as a practice dummy. And he just, you know, he goes, he just shows off all his brain, brand new, uh, his moves, submission moves. And we're just standing there. I think your, did your head, Sushi, did you go to like, did your, what do you call it? Not respect, but you're just like, this is a guy. I, you know, I, 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 um, how do I say this? Your view on Bruins changed, right? When you, like, what an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I mean, you could have done it on anybody, but you chose that. And, you know. Yeah. What an asshole. Okay, yeah. I got to ask you this, because it's funny always talking about this, how this, uh, when we trained with, uh, I, I, our, one of the workouts we did was uh, we had to take turns trying to grab each other's knees. And we're switching with people. <laughs> <laughs> that shit always gets me. So, I'm over right. here training. Go ahead, Sushi. Explain your moment oh, of like shit. what the fuck was going on on your end. All right. So remember, this is our first our first uh, warm up exercise of the day, <laughs> and uh, I mean we're looking at each other because they just said, "All right, we're doing this and that." And I don't remember the name of the exercise, but they just say, you know, this is the exercise we're going to be doing. So pair off. And so me and him would just look at each other and they're like, okay, well, you're going to go with her. You're going to go with him. And all you do is like in a circle between you and your partner, you slap their knee and then you play on the defense. They slap your knee and then you slap it's their like, knee and you go like back tag, and forth. Right? Yeah, it's like a tag. You just slap knee. You don't hit the thigh, the leg, the arm, the body. You just slap the knee, and then you get in the defensive position because it's their turn. So, and they made it well known. Brooms made it well known that this was our first day and that we didn't know what we were doing. So, I get paired up with this lady who's probably been there like maybe a year or two, maybe her whole life. I don't know. (laughs) From what you saw, it could have been <laughs> yeah, all right. Golly. And uh, so, so she she slaps my knee, and I'm like, okay, so now it's my turn. And I'm trying to slap her knee. She's over here playing defense, like, man, like if you touch her, she's gonna die. Like she wouldn't let me right? touch her. Yeah, I'm like, bro, this is a this is practice. Why are you trying to? It's my first day. Let me slap your knee. So every time I would slap her knee, she would like try and slap my hand away. And I'm like, I didn't do that to you, man. She slapped her hand away. Oh yeah, shit. she would try and like like move my hand out of the way. Like if she was trying to move and play defense, and she would move my hand out of the way. And I'm like, Damn. look, bro, if you want, we can just duke it out right now. 
there's, a, there's a parking lot right out there. <laughs> you take off your white belt, right? You're gonna take, you know, I'm no white belt in this place. Parking lot, you're the black belt, belt, right? <laughs> exactly. I was like, you know what? I, I never had a chase knees, and you know what? August 29th, that won't be no different. You know what's funny about that is that I had the same after she finished with you. You know, I you know I have no I have no idea what's going on behind me. You know, I'm I'm doing I'm fo- everyone that I win I win against. I guess they saw me as the fat chubby kid. And they're like, we don't want to be an asshole, this guy. So let's you know, not throw it too crazy. And you know, I'm there touching knee. This one guy actually stood there for me to touch his knee. You know, he stood there. I slap it, and I'm over here going hardcore defense. And then he he when it was my turn, he would just stand there. So I felt bad for that. But when I went against the girl, she didn't slap my hand away. She was moving quick, but she didn't slap my hand. She didn't go. I think she knew in her mind. I was like, I could kick this guy's ass. I'm not going to even attempt to go hardcore. For real. Like, lady, stop it. She's trying to be the knee champion, like you said. No, like, lady, they don't give out certificates for this stuff. Just let me hit your knee. God damn it. It was, it was, a, it was a fun experience, hopefully, in the future. Like you said, they're open, they might be opening some more. I don't know if uh, God. I don't know. I haven't checked on it lately. I know there was one near the North Star Mall. That was uh, those one there, which will be you know, who knows, dude? You're you're pretty close. Yeah, I'm pretty close now. I know there's one by the uh, like a um, by that 54th Street that we went to after our first <laughs> our first session. <laughs> dude, that's only bring that up now. We went there to work out, get a good workout. And what do we do? The first thing we do when we get out, fucking munch out some goddamn 54th Street. Fucking munch. Oh, we were hungry as hell, though. We were starving. We had to. We, had, we couldn't just not eat. We were. We had I think, to. I think. Okay, so I think. I don't know if I told you this. I'm trying to remember. I think I told you. I don't. I don't think I ate breakfast. I ate like a food bar. I think because I was nervous away. I was pretty mm-hmm. nervous. So I, and it was pretty early. I was like, nah, you know what, dude? I'm not going to eat. I'm nervous. What if I, you know, I don't know, fucking let out a goddamn fart or something if I get taken down or something. I don't want none of that happening. That was, that was one of my <laughs> biggest fears, too. <laughs> okay, okay, you slap the, you, when you slam, you're going to slam that mat hard, you know? They yeah, break you. When, you, when you slam, you, you go. <laughs> and we fucking I mean, go. We went to 54th Street. Afterwards, afterwards, dude. But it was good. It was a fun. It was worth experience. it. It was worth it. Hey, that hard work trying to slap a knee. I deserve some Fifty Fourth Street. You do. That's true. We deserve probably, it. Yeah, that was like I broke a sweat, and that was only because I was trying to slap her knee, and she wouldn't let me. And you know, I think when we went Fifty Fourth Street, that um, I'm not mistaken. There was a guy that actually told us there was a game tournament too going on. Uh. I remember mistaken. There was a waiter, the waiter dude. I don't know what he was saying. I remember he talking about some video games, and he said something about a tournament. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying I to think remember. he was talking about that live, that live in uh, North Ingram Park Mall. They have like all these, like a little, like a little store in the mall, but they have nothing but video games, and they have like live tournaments on Saturday and mm. Friday. And there's also one by that Regal Movie Theater off of a uh, 410 as well, across from Ingram. It's like a play live or something like that, where you gamers get together and play games. We need to bring Mystic Sushi Rocket League. That's what we need to do. Bring it to the Rocket They can't League. handle it, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> they can't handle this. Trying thing. to slap our knee and we, we won't let them. <laughs> I mean, so I got to – how was your – I had a oh, – is that Gabriel? Can they – oh, no. Okay, so he is – I got a message from Gabriel right now. He is – He's not going to be able to join the podcast. Hopefully, in the next one, he might join us on the podcast. But for now, good old me and good Sushi John going down memory lane here. But how was your I didn't get to ask you this. How was your weekend? Anything you know, crazy happen over the weekend? This weekend was pretty good. I cannot lie. Um, you know, just just uh, getting everything situated with the, the new home. That's right. Um, brand new home. Brand new home. Finish remodeling it, and we're here, relaxing. Five stories. Six stories, one bath. <laughs> Six stories, one, one bath. One bed, five closets. It's pretty good. Yeah, um, more, I'm more thankful that the Eagles finally won. Man, that was that was a fir- that was the first one of the season. And check this out. This is terrible that the Eagles are playing the Washington Football Team, the New York Giants, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Eagles. Only won one game in the four games that they played, and they were in first place of the division. 
<laughs> That's terrible. Oh, my. And they changed their name too, right? To Washington now. It used to yeah, be the Washington Redskins. football team. When they were the Washington Redskins. And it's then people mess, got butthurt man. about it or something like that. <laughs> it's a mess. What about you? How was your weekend? Oh, dude. So I went. Okay. So, you know, everyone knows COVID has been the biggest thing here in 2020. It's been a bitch. It's closing down so many things. Uh, slowly, I think, what, we're slowly opening, reopening things back up, I believe. Yeah, uh, now, now it's opening up pretty good, slowly. Yeah, they're reopening a lot of stuff. Uh, so over the weekend, I went to La Cantera, which is a very, very fancy uh, outlet mall uh, near uh, Fiesta, Texas. And you know what? I thought, I assumed they were going to be closed, but I went there with a friend of mine and it was nice. I would say it was pretty nice. Uh, it was still, believe it or not, dude. It was like it was pretty full. Like it was reopened. You know, only a few stores were open. Uh, okay, to rewind that, there was a, a good chunk of stores, but like there was like there was a other another small amount that were closed. Um, and what I got annoyed, dude, was that there's only a few stores that offered only, like the size of the store is pretty big, right? For some what you call it. Uh, separation which i understand you know covid you know you want to be separated don't be too close but think about this dude a big giant store and only three people could be in it <laughs> as it makes sense that's, like hot that's insane. ridiculous why even open up yeah exactly hot hot topic down there and i swear i think the sign said three people four people maximum inside the store of hot topic which hot topic is somewhat medium size it's not too small it's just a lot of stuff in there but there was only four people allowed. I'm like, geez, it's not that much. Um, but yeah, that's. I went to like Cantero. Over the week. I tried uh, Luisiano's. Did I say that right? The pizza place. Luis, Luis, uh, Luci- Luciano's. Yes, Luciano's. it is amazing. I never. That was my first time eating Luciano's. Actually, at like Cantero, dude. Uh, I got the 18 inch pizza margarita. It was pretty good. No pepperoni hey. or anything. It was uh, 18 bucks. <laughs> It's pricey. I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, very <laughs> it, pricey. An appetizer. We got the uh, fried raviolis. Um, I don't know, dude. To be honest with you, I thought the fried raviolis were okay, but they had jalapenos in there, and I'm not big. I'm not. I'm Mexican. I'm and I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm ashamed, and my family's ashamed of me because I'm not a big spicy fan. You know, I hate hotness. I don't like the hot wow. spicy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news, you know. Wow. <laughs> See, yeah, that's it. I'm taking your you, – you can't. Wow. <laughs> I can't eat. I can't eat. <laughs> can't eat no spiciness, bro. And a jalap- Okay, but let me give you – okay, look. I was hesitant on the ravioli, but I got it, and it wasn't bad. It had a – it was pr- pretty balanced. So if I, would, I, would, I, would I get it again? Yes, I would. Would I get the margarita pizza again? I want, I'll try something else. Not saying it was bad. It's just I feel like it needs some. You know, what do you think? What do you think of pizza, Sushi? What do you think's on there? What What's the first mm. thing when you think of pizza? What is the thing that goes to your mind of a pizza? The first thing that would come to my mind when I think of a pizza is the crust. Man, you can't have any kind of. You can have the best pizza, but if you have nasty crust, like come on, man. <laughs> uh, the crust is the first the thing and the most important part for me, the crust. <laughs> I hear you. I what's you know yeah you're right. I agree. I think the crust and would be pretty good. Pizza Hut and Luciano's are the only place and Peter Piper's that I can eat oh, full I love crust. Peter Piper. Oh yes, Peter Piper. I could eat the whole crust all day. I love the crust. And Peter Piper. Uh, Pizza, uh, Pizza Hut's pretty good too. Um, you know what? Let me ask you this. Have you tr- okay? I know you you don't like Domino's as much, or you do. No, I don't like uh, Little Caesars. Too many stuff have been coming out about them. <laughs> little Caesars? Many, What's going on with Little Caesars? <laughs> too many rats in the pasta sauce. What? So they, op- they open up the bread crust and they got all this black mold inside of it. I just I just can't. I can't. Never. Ha- I, what, I just... what Little Caesars are you going to so I could avoid that? No, no, no. This, this happened at uh, the one on Nagalitos in the south side. And I just don't mess with that. I, I mean, I don't those. mess with Little Caesars at all, but I mean... After that, that's a for sure I won't. <laughs> that's terrifying. Whoever's working in there needs to get their ass kicked around there. Like, oh, there's a party. They're serving Little Caesars. Oh, all right. I'll just eat Maybe the grass outside apple. on your lawn. <laughs> <laughs> the grass outside your lawn. Oh, and okay. Well, never mind that then. I'll, I'll avoid Little Caesars. But I agree with you that, uh, yeah, Pizza Hut and Little Caesars. Ah, 
Okay. All right. Rewind that. Peter Five for Pizza. Pizza Hut at Luciano's Crust was pretty good. You know, I, I heard that it, a friend of mine was saying that if you don't eat the crust, you're considered a kid. Is that is that disrespectful? It's it's like that's not eating, very disrespectful. You know, it's like not eating the meat off the chicken, right? Not eating full like off a wing. Like the full meat off the bone. Yeah, is that what that is to you? Mm, yes. It's like you have to. It's like you can't just – you got to finish. If you're going to go to town, you got to finish. You can't <laughs> what if, just – What if it's too burnt, you know? Mm, I feel like my I, crust is a bit too if, burnt sometimes. If it's lie. too burnt, that just makes it even better to be honest with you. <laughs> I can't have it like just sit in there cold. I'll take, I'll take burnt crust any day. Oh, my god. You know what? Uh, but yeah, it was a it was a fun week. We went to the Barnes and Nobles. Freaking Barnes and Nobles in La Cantera is freaking huge. Yes, the second was floor. That like five stories. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, like six six stories. <laughs> nah, it was like a, it was six floor. I mean, it was a second floor, and I, li- I always like going to Barnes and Nobles. Uh, I'm actually getting I'm pretty having fun going over there. I need to start buying something from in there, not just going and be looking. But uh, I don't know. I, I looked around. <laughs> it's like, but I'm like, it's pretty expensive, you know. Um, dude, that's a, that's the thing, right? Going to like Ontario, dude, you gotta have money. You mm-hmm. need to have money going in there, like you, you said. Do. <laughs> you go, and then you gotta. Dr- I mean, of course, it doesn't matter. People aren't gonna tell you anything, but you look around, you dude. You can tell people dress up for this. This is their Olive Garden. This is their. Some people, to some people, this is their Fiesta Texas. You know, this is what they come to do for the whole day. Is to come and walk around like Ontario. Go to every store, and and just shop. Have you gone to a store and felt very uncomfortable? Like, have you gone to a store where you're going there? You're like, yeah, I'm not supposed to be in here. I can't afford any of this in here. I don't know what I'm doing. Victoria's here. Secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to be in here. No, honestly, like a store. Um, when I was trying to find furniture, man, we went to the rim looking for sofas. And my girlfriend at the time, well, she was like, at the time, she was like, we should go over here to this. Because we got all our stuff. We were trying to uh, find nice. I mean, we weren't trying to get like, oh, this is like the cheapest. We we're just trying to get something that looks nice. It's comfortable. Right. We're not trying to spend too much. And at the time, we were um, at the rim. And she was like, well, let's try this. I forget the name of it. Just saying it is going to be a, like a hefty fine. It's it's expensive as hell. I'm, I'm surprised Jeez. they didn't charge us to just walk in. To be honest with you, so <laughs> the couch was like thirteen hundred. I'm 13. like, bro, Those are cup holders. This couch is at Walmart for two. <laughs> if I had no some cup goddamn holders. cup holders, no cup holders, okay. no cup Jeez. holders, no leather, no cup holders. <laughs> so um, yeah, that store for sure, man. I was like, yeah, man, we don't belong in here or on this <laughs> side. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, my fr- uh, my friend of mine he told me that. Have you noticed that there's fur- there's a furniture store, and there's a little theory going around that there's a furniture store that this furniture store always has another one next door, like maybe across the street. I forgot mm-hmm. what it's called. Um, full furniture. It's something because I know that I was. Um, God, I should look it up right now. But it's a furniture store that they there's theories th- been thrown around saying that they're so close to each other, and you go in there, there's nothing in there, and but people are taking it as like it's like a mon- <laughs> people are claiming it could be a money laundering company. You know what I mean? This is what I've been saying for the longest time, my guy. You know what I'm talking about? Which one you is it? You cannot tell me that it's everyone. <laughs> Every furniture store is used for money laundering. There is no way you ever go down a big busy street. You got seven mattress stores. You only need to replace your mattress every seven to ten years. That's about I it, mean, right? Yes. I mean, I cannot see like mattress stores being heavily populated or a big, you know, people, oh, you know, it's not a big, um, yes, mattresses are important, but there's no way, you know, they're that important <laughs> to where they have at least 10 stores on one street. I forgot what I'm looking in, for. It. Yeah, they're all, every, every time you go to a mattress store, you're like, oh, let me check, let me check in our, uh, in our, uh, 
what do they call it in our back let's go let me go ahead and check in our back to see if we have it it's or like in our storage and all this like dude what do you mean this is the storage <laughs> this is the back all this what are you talking about in your back oh i love tra- mattresses for les or furniture i'm trying to find the exact furniture store for this that my friend said that he's like he believes it's a bun like because there's one they're always near uh near each other okay look, look here it is i think uh, okay, there's that. I see the HEB. I'm zooming in. Zooming in. Um, there's one here around the city base. And they're always close to each other. Every time. No matter where you go. No matter where. I mean, we're probably going to be shut down right now just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Oh, I can't find it. It doesn't even show... Is it Office Depot? No, it's fucking not. You see, look at this. I can't even find it on the map. This is okay. This is some sketchy stuff here, dude. I can't find it. Yeah, no, that's that's that's. I, I'm a I, I'm a heavy believer that uh, <laughs> they're mon- that money that laundering. Is money laundering. Also, Fred's Fish, man. There are so many Fred's Fish, and no one goes there. You probably get two <laughs> customers a day. How do you have money to keep it up and open and running? I just don't believe it. <laughs> You know, I, I won't be surprised if that's the case. But that that specific furniture store that I can't find right now, I'll, pro- I'll put it up. A pi- I'll probably have a picture up through this uh, once I find it. But anyways, that's yeah. One stores we once you see that store, there's one right next door or across the street. They're so close. Again, this oh, is just yeah. people are talking about it. You're a big believer in this, so we'll see. I'm a heavy ass <laughs> believer in that. And you know, when it says when it, what would you say that what when they do the whole close down? They cl- oh, like we're closing down. They basically just say we're just gonna move to a different location. We've been spotted, or it's getting yeah. too much heat. <laughs> too much heat. Have you seen the receipts they give you? It's like they write it on a yellow, red, yellow, and pink paper, and they just okay. Here you go. <laughs> hey, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is it? What, what is am I this? signing, dude? <laughs> it just. Yes, I, don't, like... I don't know. I just gotta be. We gotta be careful with those, you know. But uh, my furniture wasn't that too crazy. But I went to the guitar. Oh. Let's get down since I went to the Guitar Center near the North Star Mall. Dude, uh-huh. they look like they're going out of business. What, what kind of Guitar Center? When you go to a Guitar Center, what do you expect to see in there? Jingles the guitars. Exactly. <laughs> there was hardly any guitars. I was like, what is this? This ain't no guitars. What? Oh, I mean, I'm gonna throw, I'm throwing some shade on here. I'm throwing some stuff here because I'm pretty upset on this. So check this out. I felt bad. You go to the there's a you go to the Guitar Center around the North Star Mall. There's one there. Um, you go over there, and mm-hmm. this is it's a depending on the direction. Um, let's see if you're going through there's okay, there's two sides right, but there's there's one that shows a big sign. It says Guitar Center right on top, big. Red Guitar Center, right? Mm-hmm. You enter that door. We went to that door. And it was uh, it was actually a completely different store. It's like a – it was called Music and Arts. And we went in there. There was no guitars in there. We went in there and I think, what, two more people were with us too. And we go in there and we're looking around. It's very small, like smaller than a GameStop store. Uh-huh. And we go, we go in there. We're like, huh. And the guy's real cool. Hey, guys, how can we help you? And we, uh, the girl goes, oh, we're looking for the Guitar Center. He's like, oh, that's on the other side. Okay, thanks. And they left. And I didn't hear that. So we go in there, right? We're walking around. They're like, hey, guys, how can we help you? And I was just like, Guitar Center? He's like, oh, it's on the other side. <laughs> so we walked out. Know. We felt bad. We're like, oh, shit. Like, they thought they, this is probably the first customers they had for the whole day. <laughs> and we're like, oh, sorry. And we just go around the other side. But yeah, that guitar. I mean, I got some guitar picks. I got some guitar strings. I fixed my guitar over the weekend. But yeah, that was pretty much my That's weekend. Rude. What was wrong with your guitar? Uh, get, there were. It was time for these guitar strings. We're talking mm. like maybe ten years old. They were rusted as hell. They were gross and rusty. So I got to change them. I changed them out, and they feel freaking new. It feels like a brand new guitar. But. That was my fun weekend. I had fun. That's what I did pretty much my whole day there. But uh, but let me ask. I think on our last podcast, I I think we I don't know if we dropped this, but I gotta ask on this couple. I have a few questions for you, Sushi. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Bring it. 
I think we, I don't know if we just, we probably have discussed this, but I think people need to bring up the speed on this. And that is a, you know, a lion versus a giraffe. Mm-hmm. Who is your pick? Lion every day. I don't see that. Okay, one lion. One lion versus a giraffe. You're saying a lion. One lion a- versus a giraffe. Yeah, if it was one lion versus <laughs> multiple giraffes, then giraffes. But one lion, <laughs> all he has to do is bite the ankles on that tall little thing, and that's it. You, you're not. So you're, you're, you're telling me there's no giant risk of getting one swoosh kick to the fucking face, and he's going to be out. Dead. Oh, well, you got to remember. I mean, there's no way that giraffe is going to be able to, like, oh, that's where that dude's at, and then try and. Kick him. <laughs> he can, have you seen a giraffe kick? He does a little. He's like, he's like a little mini Mayweather. How fast he swings their little arms. He's gonna dodge it, man. <laughs> he's gonna dodge it. I gotta ask you guys. You got, for those in the comment section, I'm, I'm running it down. A lion versus a giraffe. Who is your pick in that battle? And I'm gonna go with giraffe because I believe all it takes is one hit. I think the lions will take multiple times. No. And, no way, dude! No one hit. No, I happening. think I think one hit could break his jaw, and that's game over. The line it'll take him a couple of tries to get at those ankles. It's ain't gonna be easy, you know. So here you go. I, I, I'll put it like this: Lion needs to get lucky, chingles of times. A giraffe needs to get lucky once, you know. No, <laughs> dude, it just doesn't add up, man. It just doesn't add up. Lions are no, gonna. I mean, shit. lion every day. Because a giraffe, yeah, if it kicks him, more than likely it's not going to hurt. Okay. All right, fine. We'll let the... But if but if he, like, what if the lion sneaks up on the giraffe and he just bites his leg and now he's limping? <laughs> and then he bites his other leg, now he only has two. Now he's dragging. <laughs> he bites the third one and down goes the giraffe. You think it's that? You, just, you think one bite is going to break his bone? Like, that's it? Just if it's a good those... bite, yeah. <laughs> I think giraffes. Are, I think their giraffes are pretty smart. I think we're talking about a lion here. Well, I think a giraffe is. I think when they munch out, like, hey, I'm gonna go munch out. I'm gonna go munch out at a tree. Oh, here's the thing, right? You know how you talk about sneaking. Mm-hmm. What is the long neck for? They're gonna be searching for looking. for looking, and I think the lion's gonna have a tough time sneaking on that. No, the reason why their head is so long <laughs> is so they can eat trees. The, 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 the little leaves in the trees. Oh my god, that's probably the only reason why they have long necks, right? That's what you're saying? That's that's it. They have no other purpose just to eat leaves off a tree. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't know. Okay, so, so you would say lion then, for sure. Lion, uh, easily. Alright, people that you're about hearing this, right in the comment section. Lion versus giraffe. I'm going giraffe. And... I, again, just going for this is only one, just a one v one match, and I think the giraffe will get this. But see, she's going lion. Uh, it'll lion be a tough every day. All right, well let me because you know I was watching. Uh, since they're bringing up about animals, I was watching the. Uh, I'm trying to remember this. The oh, the Revenant with Leo DiCaprio. Mm-hmm. That bear scene, dude, it's fucking sick. Always will be to me the lion, the bear, and Leo going at it. Just it's just this insane, you know, battle that goes on. And you versus a bear sushi. A bear hug it, make him tap. <laughs> Easy win. <laughs> you what the kind bear. of bear? What kind of bear? If it's a black bear, I'll take it. If it's a grizzly bear, I'll take it. That's, oh, you know, what? I said grizzly bear. I think I go one against a grizzly bear is probably the most. Grizzly like, bear, that's a dub, boy. <laughs> It's a dub for you. That's a win, right? That's a that's an automatic win for you. <laughs> yeah, it's an automatic. Don't even show up. <laughs> don't even show up. I don't, okay, you know what? How would you beat a bear? I gotta ask you. How would you beat a bear? How what would okay, you? Okay, well, if it, if it was to come close to me, I'd honestly just step on his toes. <laughs> you step. And after I step on his toes, he's gonna be like, ah, oh, shit. He's gonna be hopping, and then when he's hopping, I'm gonna take it that that opportunity to go ahead and shoot for the takedown. You're gonna double. You're gonna double leg. You're gonna double take down a bear. Double leg him. Take him down. Double leg his ass. Take him down him. and then get him in a guillotine. He's gonna be like, <laughs> he's he's like, fuck man, I, I I messed up and I can't get out of this, and I'm squeezing in my choke even harder. Oh, I mean, he has these claws, dude. He's gonna be scraping you. He's gonna be pulling you out. I mean, you're not. You don't think for one thing he's gonna like just throw you around like a doll. No, maybe he like trimmed his claws, dude. 
You ever think about that? <laughs> I mean, what I would do, I would probably go to the, uh, was it, to the nearest station and just ask for help. That's what I would do. Yeah, I mean, if you're not dead, because you don't want to shoot for a takedown, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that, what does they say? When they come first to face, because they bury you either, what is it? Is it the act dead, or they hit their beat taw t- t- and yell at it? No, if a, yeah, the first thing you're gonna do at a bear is yell at it. <laughs> no, they they teach you to Karen, stand right? still. They teach you to stand still and not move, and if it touches you, just fall. I'm like, I ain't falling for no bear. <laughs> I ain't that dude wants that. to throw hands. We'll throw hands. <laughs> you know what's you know how you just said that the uh, the winning between a bear is just by yelling at it. I think a Karen will be undefeated, right? Versus a grizzly bear. I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> The bear, I am the manager. Fuck you, bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go down immediately. All right, all right. Again, we might have talked about this on the last podcast, but I just have to bring this up again for a good old memory lane here. Um, again, I think I would just, if I had a little, I would go for the eyes. That's what I would do. Just poke the eyes out. I think I would I would win. With a, with Damn, dude, that's inhumane. <laughs> oh, inhumane! God damn, that's I'm evil. fighting for I'm fighting for my life here, dude. He has my arm. He's ripping it apart, but me poking his eye out. Okay, that's dangerous. Arrest Roy, you know. Arrest him because it's you know it's it's terrible because he poked his eye out. My life is not worth it, right? The bear is. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's like cold, man. Just poking a bear in his eye. Like holy shit! What do you want me to? Okay, I'm getting bitten. Not I'm, poke I'm, him in the eye. <laughs> Step on his toes. <laughs> I'm getting. He has the. I don't know. I guess like I said I would do that to survive because I'm getting eaten alive by a bear and I'm going out fighting. I'm gonna poke his eyes out. It'd be hard poke as hell though. That's <laughs> yeah, all right. Just poke. You know, make him go blind. We were talking about sports earlier, and I forgot to mention this. He, uh, the Mike Tyson versus, I think he's fighting was it someone named Roy Jones? Roy Jones Jr. What do you think about Mike Tyson? You think you can still fight him right now? You could take him on. <laughs> Mike Tyson is a monster. I've seen him when he's over here shadow boxing on the side. He still has it. I haven't seen what Roy Roy, uh, Roy Jones Jr. has done. <laughs> <laughs> You're already but saying I mean, he's done. Even he had said that you know maybe it was a, not a bad idea. I'm like, ah, it's too late now. It's too late now to be saying that. You gotta stick it out, buddy. You know, I've been telling people at work. You know, I'm I'm here. To, I, you know, I, I'm be honest. I'm gonna come clean right here. I said, I think if I went against Mike Tyson, I could beat him down, UFC style. Take you said down. That? I said that. I'm. I, I you said, said that. that uh, after the training, I think this was like a year back, and after I saw him, right, like, <laughs> I just keep making excuses now, right? I saw his training video. Immediately, I said, you know what? There's no way I should even step in Mike Tyson's world. I think Mike Tyson would just eat me from where I stand. It's too late. I'm going to send his. his uh, <laughs> send him a I'm tweet. Send, 1v1. I'm going to send him a tweet. 1v1 Roy. He said he'll whoop that ass, boy. <laughs> Meet him at Loot Lake. Loot Lake, <laughs> you're going to support night too? Let's go. I'm ready. What do you want me in Fortnite, dude? Um, great. I mean, so guys, David, this is, uh, again, we're, we're, gonna, we're working on our podcast here. Again, we're, any audio issues or anything like that, we will adjust in the next one. Again, we're here freeballing it. You know, I think it was time for a podcast. It's been too long. Way too long. Especially how year 2020 has been. I have moved apartments recently. I forgot to mention that as well. <gasps> well... Oh, we got a surprise little guest here. What a boy! You, hey, when this shit airs, you gotta add the uh, Stone Cold theme when you just enter. We gotta add the little Stone Cold theme song to Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> What's, What's going on, guys? What's going on, ladies? And this is Gabriel, guys from from our old YouTube channel. We had you know make make awesome Ninja Kitty. We played some Grand Theft Auto videos, Gabriel, which was fun, full of fun. Um, oh yeah. We were talking about some sports. We're talking about sports right now. You know, before we even get to that, let me ask you, Gabriel, because you just came in at the right moment. He, maybe you can set up a debate for us. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. But, you know, I'm kind of nervous because I feel like I know your answer. A lion versus a giraffe. 
Oh. <laughs> what kind of lion? What kind of giraffe? Like age wise. A mean lion that hasn't eaten in years. <laughs> and a giraffe that <laughs> and a giraffe <laughs> and a giraffe that has uh, that has that kicking mechanism that doesn't want to stop kicking. It's like a machine gun. Fed, it doesn't no, want to stop. They fed him Pedialyte, so he's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think actually, uh, if it's a full fledged giraffe and everything, I think the giraffe would probably win. But, but the giraffe skipped leg day. <laughs> they skip. Yeah. They do skip leg day a lot. I'll, I'll give you that one. Now they do have thin legs, but let me, I'll give you this, Gabriel. They're both, you know, at the prime right now. Lion and giraffe, both at the prime. My argument is one swoosh kick could do it for a lion. It'll take them a couple of tries to get that one. No, leg. no. For for my for my opinion on the lion, I mean, come on. You ever try to slap a cat? This is a full grown lion. He's not gonna let a giraffe kick him. <laughs> well, like to get to the giraffe to to knock him out, you know, you got to get to the neck, and that's way the hell up there. I don't think the giraffe would let him have at it, you know. No, that's why you got to bite one ankle at a time. Just <laughs> then he's only really working on three legs, and then you attack the next one, and boom, boom he's dragging himself. Let me ask you, Kira, dry a pack of lions? They do Sorry, move what? their front legs, right? They they swing their front legs too, right? They go like they're like boxing. They're throwing their hands in the front too, and they go for the front. Yeah. You know? Are you going to rap, Gabriel? Are you going to rap? Is that what I hear? I think I'm gonna go with a full fledged prime of his life giraffe. I think I go with the giraffe. The giraffe. That's all. It's not over yet, CG. It's not over yet. That's just. just... It's not over yet. You know what? We're gonna go and we're gonna see it. And I'm gonna instigate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the game. versus giraffe. So we're gonna, you know, gonna tweet that out there and see what people get it off. But like I said, in the comment section, guys, whatever you want to think, I believe the giraffe is on it. But all right, Gabriel, our next question would be the bear. Sushi John say he's double leg take down a grizzly bear and bear hug him, <laughs> and it's game over. No, you... after you step on his toes, oh, then right. you go for the, the takedown. Which stepping on his toes is. You know, it's great getting him in a you know choke hold or but for me, I, you know, I'm fighting for my life. I poke him in the eye and that just makes me the bad guy, according to Sushi John. Me poking him in the eye makes me what was it's it? A you dick say move, man. <laughs> it's a like, dick move. You don't think we can take on bears? <laughs> I I mean in the situation where Grizzly Bear took you down, it's like it's on your ass. You know. I don't know if y'all can y'all still hear me? Hold on. Some technical difficulties on my end. I I, I, can't, I couldn't hear. Can you hear me here? Saying. Yeah. All right, sushi. All right, there's sushi. It was good. All right, yeah. So I'm getting some mic problems here, but it's all good. A grizzly bear's attacking your ass, Gabriel. He is on you. He's <laughs> eating you up. What are you gonna do? I I, I told sushi. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm getting eaten. I'm a chubby guy. I'm going for the eyes. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, but sushi. you gotta get in eye striking distance. He's not gonna let you. He's like, yeah, nah, get that shit out of your boy. Get. No, he's That's on me. You gotta... <laughs> he's on me, going full force, biting my arm off. You know, like I said, I'm going for the eyes. I, I don't know if they protect their eyes somehow, but I'm going for the eyes. And they wear sushi's goggles like... before they attack. <laughs> yeah, they got they safety were... glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, if if he's biting me, I would definitely gouge his eyes out. You know, if you're gonna kill me, bud, if you're gonna take a piece of me off, I'm gonna take your side away. <laughs> you know, this isn't gonna be a, a nice little fair fight here. Okay, no. What but, if you're both standing up, both, you know, toe to toe? A small bear, right? Not a full grown motherfucker. Not a f- uh, medium size. <laughs> you got medium size now. Ooh. We'll be that lucky. Well, yeah, we'll be that lucky. <laughs> yeah, medium size one, maybe like ten years old. Oh my god. No, that's a full grown one. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, I'm running. I'll try to grab his nuts. Nah, they actually kidnapped you through an arena and said, look, your only way out is fighting this grizzly bear. Alright, what are you going to do? I'd grab his nuts, pull, try and pull him off. <laughs> you guys remember there's a video female. out there? It's a female. Oh bear. god. That's a cool finger. Do a little cunt punt, you know? Alright, All right. it's a female bear on her period. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Just eat me? Is that what that you're going to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> Throw in the towel, man. They're, they're just throwing in the, 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 the towel. Throw in the towel. You hit her? That's like domestic violence and shit. 
<laughs> well, it's oh, not going to uh, do much, you know? Like, you hit them, they're real strong, and their first thing, I guess, but... I'd have to have a weapon. If I had a little weapon on me, might have like, a chance. Like a stick? No. Like a gun? Hell no. A gun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, of course, a gun. A stick, this guy, what's a stick in the do? You're in the woods, you're in the woods, no weapons. No, you're I just... just said he got kidnapped and they're both in an arena and All right. out to beat the bear. What if the boss of this arena is an asshole and he's like, no weapons, I want to see blood. He's like, he wants to see blood, he's all on that, you know? I'm just well, assuming. Here, look. Check this out too. So like, a bear is an omnivore. It, uh, it doesn't know how to eat animals. It doesn't know how to eat meat. Hmm. It's just gonna start taking chunks out of you. It's not gonna go like a like a cheetah is gonna go for the neck and try and kill you fast the way he can eat you. A bear once he gets his hands on you or her hands, it's gonna start eating you. Oh god! So I would watch out for those teeth. If he has me in some kind of grip, <laughs> I would just go for the eyes. You know, if he's gonna take chunks out of me, well, I'm gonna take your <laughs> eyes, man. I <laughs> just. Uh, Break them toes, step on it. Steel toe boots. Sauce, steel boy. Steel toe boots? You be kicking the yes. shit out of it, aren't you? Run Kick him in the nets. nuts. Break his feet and run away. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, uh, we were talking about the uh, Mike Tyson making a comeback against Roy Jones. Uh, I get me and Sichu we both agree that just we do not want to step in the ring with him, right? I'm not. No. no. <laughs> I'm good. Why would you want to step in a ring Mike with Tyson? a bear? <laughs> step in the ring with the bear and duck dice. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, Gary, I gotta ask you because you know, you know, Packers played today. How do Uh-oh. they do? Oh man! For them, well, Packer I'll fans be honest, listening to this, I'll be real honest here. We're at th- we were at three and zero, and coming into this game, we lost Alan Lazard to an ab injury. And you know we already we already lost our star receiver Devontae Adams coming into Monday Night Football against a winless Falcons. You kind of just don't know what's going to happen. But Matt Lafleur has a real good game plan he put on the Packers, and Aaron Rodgers can make a star out of anybody that can catch a football. So Jeez. it turned into just that. Um, Aaron Rodgers threw three touchdowns to the same tight end, Robert Tunyon. Mm-hmm. And they beat the living shit out of the poor Falcons. I think it was like 30 to 16. It was terrible. It was nasty. <laughs> oh, it was it was a gross game. I mean, I had I had a feeling like we were due for a, for an L. The Falcons were due for a W. And I thought we were going to come into Monday Night Football, you know, all sad and everything that our receivers are hurt, but nope. We found a way to win the game, and they it's messed amazing. with our run a little bit. But as a Packer fan, I'm very, very excited to see how the rest of this season is going to come out. I think it's going to be real good. Nice. But those Packer, Packer fans listening here, they're going to have some. Wish you all the best there. You know, I am a very neutral guy. <laughs> I, oh, y'all football. are Eagle fans. What are you talking about? <laughs> I do like yeah. the Eagles. I do like the Eagles. I, I I am with Sushi on the Eagles there, but he he said he's saving that first loss for December six. Oh, he's already oh. throwing out. Sushi's already betting money on here already. So I'm I'll, like, I'll say it right now, man. The Eagles <laughs> yeah, win the game. We play the Eagles or who plays them? Yeah, we play y'all uh, December six in Green Bay again. Oh. That's all right. It's gonna be a repeat of last season. <laughs> It's beautiful. Uh, wait, didn't uh, didn't y'all beat us last year? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, this early in the season, you know, like <laughs> this early in the season prediction stuff, people are like, nah, oh, I'm talking, I'm talking shit right now, man. I'm calling it. Look, <laughs> He's calling it right we now. Have, we have so many injuries. I was telling Roy earlier, if we had a, a if I had a shot for every injured player we had, Mid. oh man, dude, I'm t- and I even sent him the screenshot of the injury report. We had like a full <laughs> team out. He was, it was so bad that he was throwing to players who only had 20 snaps and they've only played football for three years. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> well, it's Damn. the same thing with the Packers. Like, we're throwing to practice squad receivers. But the big difference with the Packers and the Eagles is that, okay, quarterback-wise, Carson Wentz is a walking injury. 
Oh, no, he can't say that. He didn't <laughs> say that. He's shady. You know, you just give him a little oh, tap right. and he's going to fall apart. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think that was only twice, three times. That's it. That's it. <laughs> but let's be honest, Aaron Rodgers had his fair share of injuries, too. <laughs> yeah, he, but he plays through them. He didn't, you know, get knocked out in the first round of the playoffs. Mr. President, like, Mr. President, please let him finish this. Mr. President, let him finish this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, you're like a substitute <laughs> teacher. <laughs> Mr. President, stop interrupting, Mr. President. Oh shit! <laughs> no, nah, it's 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 different, man. It's the difference between Green Bay and Philly is y'all have a star running back. We don't. Our running back is trying to talk on social media. Oh, we're gonna take over. You cannot take over if you're injured every other game, bro. You're not gonna take over. Who's the running back again? Is it still Darren? Exactly. Sproul? See, no, it's not. Darren Sproles retired after his like sixth injury with the Eagles in two seasons. Is it his guy? Is he still with y'all? No, after his injury, they released him. <laughs> it's Miles Sanders now. I need to change up the fucking <laughs> workouts or something. Get a new field to practice on. Why are y'all getting injured so much? That's what I'm saying, Six dude. This milk. this player <laughs> take some change your thing. <laughs> Arthago Whiteside, man. I went out and I collected his autograph rookie card, all his rookie cards, and he's absolute garbage. Like you and I, we have the same stats as him. It's it's ridiculous. He doesn't play, and somehow he was injured with a calf injury. Like, bro, Jesus. did you hurt yourself walking from the bench to the locker room after the game? What did <laughs> you do? He got, he got he, he got a what do you call it? A towel whip, and that was game it's over. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, honestly, they tried guy to walk around in high heels, you know, strengthen those. <laughs> Muscles, bro. Damn, Jesus man. Christ. What are you doing? This is I ridiculous. Gotta... I hate it here. We <laughs> did forget to mention something on this. Uh, perfect time for Gabriel here. Now, you know, sports, and we're we're going to try to keep the podcast, you know, not too much politics in podcasting. I mean, we don't have some fun. But we can, Uh-oh. you know, this this crazy has been a crazy year. You know, everyone's all talking about the whole debate, you know, the whole Donald Trump thing. Any of y'all see the the debate? Did both of y'all see it or one of y'all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to see it. Saw some of it. Some of it. Okay. So, it too bad. on Gabriel's end, I mean, let me ask you. This is for you, Stacey, too, as well. I want to hear your part on this. Uh, <laughs> I, I agree on Gabriel on this. And people get bad for saying, what was it, that, you know, oh, Trump kept interrupting and Trump this and Trump that. And you know, I'm very, you know, I'm not very, really, like, you know, I'm not a big Trump guy nor Biden. I'm you know, in the middle, but I, I do believe that Trump was, uh, I think he was interrupted like crazy by that fucking Chris Wallace, that Wallace oh, guy. Yeah. He was like, and he was feeding like Biden, like he was helping him with his answers and whatnot. Oh know? yeah, freaking Chris Wa- Wa- Chris Wallace, the moderator, was a freaking <laughs> t-ball coach for Joe Biden, you know? He'd come and put the ball on Joe Biden's tee and let him swing and all these things. And, and the tee. And I'm trying not to sound biased here, but go back and look at the debate and look at some of the questions that were fielded to Biden mm-hmm. and look at the ones that were fielded to Trump. And it's kind of a mismatch. They talk about that whole white supremacy thing. And They yeah, ganged I mean, them. They double ganged. I thought they double they, ganged them there. They did. And it's like, Joe, you need to not be interrogating Trump here. It just needs to be moderator and Trump. You know, it's not hey, open discussion. What was he like? He was like, say it. Yeah, say it, bro. Say it, dude. Come on, dude. Say it. And Trump's like, I'm going to say it. I that was all kind of unfair, you know. I hope they kind of do something with the moderator next time. And I hope Trump shuts his mouth up and lets Biden talk. Yeah, Trump did talk. Oh, we did do some over talking as well. But it's like still like sometimes you know you, Trump had to like you know you know he had to say some things too. But Wallace would stop him immediately, trying to explain certain things, you know. And so hopefully the next debate will be um, better on that one. But since you what do you, you think? There even is one. It's gonna be in the hospital. The fucking debate. You think? You, <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly that. Which we, I mean, what do you think, Sushi? You think before we get. To, that whole mess too. I mean, do you think? How was your? What was your take on it? On the whole debate? No, again? man. Same. It just too many interruptions. You know, they had a bunch of kids fighting at a lunch table. But honestly, <laughs> the highlight of the damn debate for me, and I'm trying to find it because I had I had to take a, I had to screenshot it because it was they made it into a meme. But it says uh, Wallace said VP Biden, 
you're holding much smaller events. And before he got to finish it, Trump butted in and said, because nobody will show up. <laughs> that was a highlight for me. That was funny. It was hilarious. But I mean, Jeez, a burn. Yeah, that's, that was... that's a schoolyard bully kind of remark. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit like was... That was cold, it's like when he, pulled, when he pulled off with that Hillary, when he said something about, like, good thing that he's not a president. And he goes, like, yeah, because he'd be in jail or something. <laughs> <laughs> that, was like, that was pretty good. Oh, I got to yeah. go on that one. That was pretty good. That uh, shit was hilarious, man. He's rough with those one-liners. He'll come and get you when you're not ready for it. So then also he had the – so, you know, over the week he got COVID. President Trump got COVID there. And so – which was crazy. I think he's. Rec- I heard he. I read today that he actually moved away from uh, from the hospital. He went to his to the White House back. He's recovering at the White House. He's doing, continuing his, you know, medicine. Getting looked at the White House now. Uh, white, the White House. White House. <laughs> and you know, it's just crazy. People are already. Some people are saying, you know, maybe. Trump's faking it. Maybe he's doing that. Some people say he's doing that just to hold off the election to get what he needs to do. You know, I don't know. I, I for one, thought that maybe he's just doing this to start selling some vaccines. <laughs> and he's going to come out like, oh, I got fucking cured from this vaccine. You know, I got this. I, you need to go put this on. It's great. <laughs> I assume that was the, the case, but it doesn't look like it. Well, that's a pretty strong theory. I mean. I don't like the timing of all this. It does seem pretty suspicious. You know, Trump could be an imposter. <laughs> but he's, he's, sus. he's sus. He's sus. He's acting sus. A little while ago. <laughs> but no. Uh, uh, it's just all kind of. It's all getting played by ear right now. We got to wait the two weeks. The next debate should have been this Wednesday, but that's probably not going to happen. And. I don't know how the next one's going to turn out, so that seems like a pretty good convenience if you line it up with how Trump did in the last debate. I yeah, I have, a, I have a question here. What if, God forbid this, I'm just saying this, but what if both Biden and Trump are, they're gone? Who comes in, <laughs> who comes in there? Dwayne The Rock Johnson? That would be his vice president. <laughs> You know, Trump's gone. Just Joe Biden's fucking... gone. Who's the next? Who's the? Who's next up? You know, this is gonna be a WWE commentator. Oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> oh you know what? I saw fucking what's his name? Uh, do you guys remember? It was a. Uh, it, it shows Joe and you know Trump on the stage, right? And they're talking, and they hear the Stone Cold Theme Mountain break, and it shows uh, what's it? Bernie? Was it Bernie? Sanders Bernie Sanders the chair? Here. Oh my god! I got to stand chair. <laughs> god damn. Damn it. Good old Bernie, El Bernie, but the burn. Just had, we just had to talk about that because that's kind of a big little thing going around this week. Um, it was pretty interesting. So it's pretty hilarious. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> I Gave got on, Trump putting that one fifty forty five. Fifty. Wait, oh. wait what? <laughs> one forty nine. What? <laughs> Say that again. Was that sushi? Nah, I, yeah, I got Trump winning that 50-45. Game. Oh, okay. I don't know why I didn't hear you on the mic. I hear you. <laughs> Loud and clear. The yeah, it was a pretty interesting with the whole Trump. Uh, Gabriel, I got let me ask you what? How was your weekend on your end? A pretty good weekend. On my Anything, end? Anything uh, interesting? Fuck, I I'm like so lost with the days and everything. What did I do this weekend? Uh, um, bought some crack. Shit. No, that was that was two weekends ago. Now we're keeping <laughs> it clean. We gotta purify, cleanse, you know. Uh, I've been helping my dad politicking. He's running for school board in um, Bembolt Palito Blanco High School. There you go. So been helping him around, um, helping him get signs together, going out and talking with the locals. And I think it's going to be a pretty good race, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Bamboo needs, I think they need a little bit of, of change. And um, I'm hoping that my dad gets put in an office here pretty soon and brings a little bit of education into the school board. And hopefully that helps the school out. You know, hopefully they can learn some things from him. He's got a lot of experience. And administration and being a principal and all these things. So, 
You know, that's See what like, happens there. Yeah, you know, and that's just one step stone to go over after he becomes high school and everything. Next up, him versus Trump. I see it already. He's going I mean, to dude, if we look at it, because, you know, he's running for office here. He's running for the seventh chair. Mm-hmm. He's going to be on the same ballot as Donald Trump. Oh, <laughs> shit. There you go. So that's going to be kind of interesting. You know, there's going to be a lot of voters, I think, that are going to come out because of because of the Trump presidential election. A lot of people want to vote. Right. So, you know, if anybody's out there in the 361 Bembolt, Texas area. There you go. And uh, if you're looking for a good candidate to vote for, I would say Arnold Barrera is the guy to go to. Bring some education into... <laughs> Bring an educated person into education. So, see you November 3rd. There you go. This ad was... Oh, fuck, I already forgot. This <laughs> ad was approved. <laughs> it was Where'd brought it go, to man? you just ruined it. <laughs> it was good, though. It was... Yeah, like, like I said, it's, it's very... Like you said, you, you know, going around the locals, helping your dad and everything. So, I hope it goes well on his end. It's gonna be, like oh, I said, yeah. Interesting, right? I mean, he's been... We've been in in this oh, yeah. area forever. I mean, we lived in the valley for a little bit, but my dad is sixty two this year, mm-hmm. and I mean, he's been here his entire life. So it would be good to get somebody in office who has seen all of Bembolt throughout the past sixty years. So. Well, we'll see what happens here next month, and uh, best of luck to all the opponents that are running for the oh. race this year. Oh, yeah. Let's see what happens. It's going to be very fun. Next, I am debating here on, you know, if, you know, we, because me and Gabriel, we do the, if y'all see on our YouTube channel, we also do the Overcooked videos. We are on one more episode level. I'm working on that one to pull it up. Um, God, I mean, we still, we still got to finish it, dude. We need one more map, I think. Or one more level. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, I got it installed here. We gotta mess around with it. <laughs> we gotta finish that up. Um, just to finish up here on this fun podcast. It's been pretty good. We're Again, we're free-balling it here. Um, and we'll look at it, see how we did, and then we will adjust. We will, but any games, starting with Sushi here, any games you're looking forward to play this year? Mm. Let's see. Hell no, dude. It's the same thing. <laughs> Honestly, Cold War. Oh, I'm Cold, Cold War. War. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting that one when it comes, when it drops. Damn. I saw the trailer for the zombies, and that looked pretty fun. That hooked you up on there immediately. Yeah, that, because they're going back to the roots. You know, I don't <laughs> like that Black Ops. Uh, what was it with those... Um, Gabriel played it. I mean, to be fair, I it's still new to me. Gabriel the exo that... suits and all that. Oh I yeah, I couldn't do that. that got me that real was... hard, dude. Black Ops Three. <laughs> as far as I went, I didn't go any farther after that. But Black Ops Three was was really fun because, like, okay, it's its own game. I'm not gonna go and say that it's a great concept. But Black Ops Three had the fucking melee weapons and shit. You could screw around with people. Like little stupid ass noobs that don't know how to shoot. <laughs> you could go around and run around with a wrench and just go kill people instantly with a wrench <laughs> because of those suits. So Jeez. they haven't done that concept again, but for that game alone, I like the jumping and the running on walls and shit. I'm sure it's gonna it come of, back. Uh, it reminded me of Titanfall. Oh, Titanfall. It kind of did, yeah. Dude, Titanfall is amazing. You need to play it, man. Titanfall 2 is fun. I like you have your own robots and machines. And I think I have it in my library still. I should probably give it another shot. But if it's still active, I don't know if any more people are still active in that <laughs> server. Wasn't uh, Apex a lot like Titanfall? Well, they got the idea from, uh, yeah, exactly. Pretty much, I, except for I the think, Titans. If I'm mistaken, I think they, they are. I, are they so? I think that it is, or are they associated with uh, Titan? I think it is. I think it might be the same team. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Apex is technically like a, from the Titan team that made it. That's why it feels like Titanfall and stuff like that. Again, don't call me on it, but I assume that's what it is. 
Nah, I'm a okay. coach you on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, T. But uh, all right, guys. But just to close it up here, uh, it was fun. It was. Again, guys, we will adjust on the audio of anything or any other issues come up on the next podcast. We will adjust. Uh, we're going to be pushing out these podcasts. That's what I need to get back on. It's been a year, Sushi, since we knocked out a podcast. Uh, we need to start bringing it back. We need to start bringing it back and start bringing it up. And we'll see. But any last, uh, you know, questions, any last comments, anybody, starting with Sushi, anything else before we close up shop here? Yeah, it's got to say, you know, this this year sucks. Doesn't look like it's getting any better, but I just hope the Eagles do something good and have a good season. Oh no more injuries. <laughs> I can't have any more injuries. I'm tired of being send, a sad motherfucker. Um, send some prayers. Send some prayers over here. Honestly, send some prayers. Burn some candles. I need some I'll Eagles players. I'll pray for Eagles, too. I'll pray I need for stronger, Eagles. stronger calves. I want to donate my ACL to Carson Wentz. I'm fine, man. Give him some stem cells. I'll take him the give him the whole leg. He can have it. <laughs> you can have your own CG's buff legs, that's right. You could have it all. <laughs> I don't <Sorry>. need him. <laughs> I don't want oh, these God. things anymore. Gabriel, any last uh comments or anything to the before we close up the shop here? Yeah. I'm I'm pretty much with what Sushi said there in the beginning. I'm not an Eagles fan, but uh this has been a crappy year and everything. And uh, we've all been inside for the majority of the fucking year, watching our lives go by. <laughs> but just Getting stay safe, limited. stay healthy, work out, and keep yourself active, and wash your hands and shit. And you know, the year is almost over, so maybe it's almost it's zombies. Twenty twenty one, more things will come out. Dinosaurs, not zombies. Zombies riding dinosaurs. <laughs> Ark. Ark. M sixties. Fucking Arc 2021. Arc 2021. Shit, dude. We're going to all be cavemen, you know? Making our oh podcast God. under a rock or something. <laughs> but, just, yeah, close up shop. Yeah, you guys, I agree with. It's been a crappy year. We're, you know, slowly, strongly going through this, you know. Getting out of here. It's almost over. 2021, hopefully. It's the golden year for everybody because 2020 was a crappy year for everybody. So. Yeah, but like I said, guys, we are bringing out more game videos, more Overcooked videos coming out, more horror games. And again, we're going to try pulling out some more podcast videos soon. I'm going to try to have this uploaded by tonight or hopefully by tomorrow. And we're working on some more future projects for y'all. But hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe out there. And we'll talk to you guys in the next Mystic Sushi podcast. Later. Peace. Later.